Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing well. Please excuse my voice, I think it's going. Um, but I've got a mic on, so hopefully you can hear me. And hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> um, so let's see what's going on for Pisces. So this is gonna be for significant Pisces placements. Or if you're dealing with a Pisces, you might get a message. Only take what resonates as it resonates with you. Don't force anything to fit. And feel free to check out any of the other um, readings on the channel. They're all timeless, which means whenever you're meant to find any particular video, that's when you'll find it because that's when it holds a message for you. So trust yourself. Have a look, see if anything stands out. And just follow your intuition like share comment subscribe if you haven't thank you so much if you have i really appreciate it and we're just going to jump right in here if you want readings for all the signs they are on my second channel advice to think twice linked below okay let's get going for pisces what's going on for pisces today what's going on for pisces today pisces Briefly saw the Four of Cups, Ten of Swords, Four of Wands, Ace of Swords. Hmm. I get the sense either something you thought was over, something's happening with it today, or something is over, and now you can expect to see some kind of something external to you is over, so now you can expect to see some sort of progress in your direction. Interesting. So what's happening for Pisces today? Okay, here we go. So this is going to be the situation, and this is going to be what we can expect to see happen today. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords. Um, and the Five of Swords is pettiness. It's conflict for the sake of it sometimes. Uh, it's someone who intentionally is careless with their words and actions um, someone who is hurt and lashes out they don't care that you're not the one that hurt them necessarily uh, someone who could have some sort of anger issues um, to do with change uh, to do with change this could also be your energy if you've been pushed to the point where something's got to give I don't care anymore I don't care if I hurt people's feelings I need to get myself out of the situation or I need to make a change here for myself and my sanity, okay? It could be that kind of a an energy as well. So let's see, what is the situation? Well, we have the Seven of Swords. The challenge is the moon. Yikes. Well, this is deceit. This is secrets. This is intentionally hiding things. Uh, doing things in the dark of night, uh, doing things in the dark as in sneakily, okay? What is this about? The sun. Well, I feel like something is being revealed, okay, to you, and it puts you in the Five of Swords energy where that's it. That is it. You might snap at someone, rightfully so look at what they've been doing you know this is lying cheating stealing manipulating intentionally holding you back intentionally putting blocks in your path um being two-faced okay they're pretending like they're helping you but they're actually giving you bad advice on purpose okay but whatever it is you're finding out truth is coming out clarity um everything is out okay and it puts you in the Five of Swords energy where you're like, that's it. That's it. No, I don't care. I don't care. Okay? I don't care. I don't want to hear excuses. I don't want to hear apologies. I don't want to hear explanations. I don't want to hear your justification. I don't care. You might be lashing out at someone, putting them in their place, saying what you have to say to them, and then just completely shutting the door. Yeah, look, recently we have the tower. It really shook you to find out what, whatever this is, to find out that this was going on. And this could be to do with someone who you had put on a pedestal. So that means they had your full trust um, or you completely um, believed them, supported them. You were all about them, right? 
They were your best friend. They were your partner. They were, you know, someone who always had your back. They were the best, you know, teammate you could ever have, the best manager you could ever have. They would never hurt you. They would never do anything uh, to damage you, your relationship, you know, whatever it is that you're building together. But I feel like whoever this is, they've been lying, hiding things, stealing things, deceiving you, however that makes sense, for quite some time. For quite some time. And I feel like that's where the tower comes in. Like, not only, number one, is you've been doing what? But number two, you've been doing this for how long? You know? And for some of you, I'm getting a specific message where they did something once and you forgave them. And they promised you and they promised you and they promised you they would never do it again. And you forgave them and you believed them and you went on faith, right? They kept doing it. And every time you were close to finding out, they hid it better. It's almost like they got better at hiding things from you. But your whole connection, partnership, friendship, relationship, whatever, it's, it's kind of been a lie. That's what it feels like. What's on your mind? <laughs> yeah, the death card. It is a gorgeous card, though. Look at it. You're like, nah, this is it. I'm done. Justice card under that. Nope. Mm -mm. That's it. This is all the way done forget my number. I don't care how long we've known each other. I don't care how long we've been together. I don't care how much we've built together. I don't care what kind of contract we got. It's done. It's done. Yikes, Pisces. So what's happening today? We have the world, the five of cups and the king of wands. Yeah, you're wrapping this up. It's your decision. It still hurts. Don't get me wrong. But you are in control, in charge. It has not, you're not allowing it to knock your confidence. You're not allowing it to hold you back anymore. You're just wrapping up the cycle with your head held high because you did everything right. Okay, no one's perfect, but you always did right by this person. Okay. It could have been an on again, off again situation for some of you. Like I say, they were close to the edge a few times. They were close to getting caught a few, a few times. Um, and I feel like you may have not necessarily known exactly what was going on, but you felt it in the energy. They instinctively would pull away where you instinctively would pull away and become a bit distrusting. Is that a word? Uh, at times. Okay. And so now when you look back at everything, everything makes sense. But I like that you're very confident. You're ready to take action on this. Maybe for some time you blamed yourself. Maybe for some time you questioned yourself. Maybe for some time you weren't sure if it's something you do or you're not doing, you know, to make this person act the way they're acting. Or if you at times felt like maybe I could do more, you know. But now, no. With the King of Wands, they're like, I know I did everything right. I know I did right by this person. I'm fully aware that I don't deserve this. And I don't care what their answers are. I don't care what their explanations are. I don't care. I just, I just don't care. It's something that it's, it's, that's it. It just, you just snap out of, it's like, that's it. It's done. Okay. That's it. You don't want to talk. You want to see this person. You don't want to, you, you're just done. You're just done. Have you ever been to that point? Have you ever been pushed that far? Where it's just like, I don't even want to fight. I don't even, you know what I mean? I'm just done. It's painful to get there, but it can be a very freeing energy as well. Because you're like, all of a sudden, you just don't care anymore. You know, all of a sudden, you can just walk away. And you do. So what else for Pisces here? The Eight of Wands, the Emperor, and the Three of Pentacles. I feel like there's, as soon as you turn your back on this, you either have other opportunities on the mind to explore um, other people might have already approached you for, you know, other jobs, projects, collaborations, asking you out, um, and you may have said no to them. So now you're going back to revisit. One in particular stands out to you, one in particular you want to give to. So you might be messaging that person or calling that person, uh, whether that's in a romantic 
sense or to do with your business or to do with job opportunity okay what else for Pisces seven of cups four swords eight of swords yeah you are now looking at your options your entertaining options after a time when you intentionally kept yourself from looking at options you intentionally closed yourself off to anything and anyone else because you were here right you're invested here and so now you know exactly where to go you know exactly where to go what options to entertain what stood out to you what kind of hurt to say no to you know it's like well I'm already in a commitment so therefore the answer should be no but I feel I still feel I'm, I'm interested in it I can't lie you know and maybe for some of you that's where you felt a little bit guilty right you remember you, like we we talked before where sometimes you felt guilty sometimes you felt like you could be doing more sometimes you felt like maybe you're not doing something right or you know what I mean and now you're like oh my god I can't believe I even <laughs> paused I can't believe I even felt guilty over that because they were doing this and I I would just I just for a second entertained the thought of what that would be like and I felt guilty for weeks or months and they've been doing this for months or years and it's not they're not they've not just been entertaining the thought of things do you know what I mean they've been out there doing the deed Z, plural so now you know exactly where to go for some of you this could have been they intentionally blocked you because I'm seeing in the seven of cups okay I'm seeing someone that has intentionally been presenting you with bad advice or bad offers where you would entertain them, they would fail, and then they would say, well, you know, I, I kind of told you so, but, you know, you have to go figure it out for yourself type of conversation. Or they've been intentionally blocking offers and opportunities from getting to you because they've been keep, they have kept you, they have been the reason why you've been stuck and stagnant. For a long time mentally emotionally financially but it looks like that ends now and it ends for good Pisces so I'm glad to see that okay any further advice for Pisces on this any further advice for Pisces on this okay shuffle any further advice for Pisces on this yeah, look, the Ten of Swords, Four of Wands, is definitely the end of a contract, definitely the end of a commitment, definitely the end of a relationship, the end of a marriage, and it sucks, and it's sad, and it's painful if you're going through this, I feel for you, but I feel like for a lot of you, the worst, the worst part is done, because you have the Tower in the recent past, so you've been dealing with the aftermath of it, okay, and this is the day where you just pick up and leave. Because you, there's no, there's nothing past the Ten of Swords when it comes to this situation. There is nothing to salvage. There is nothing to get back. There is nothing to recuperate. There is nothing to heal. It's just, it's been, it's done. It's dust. Okay? So there is no other option but to go in a different direction. Okay? To transform, to release, start fresh. Take only the lessons and give yourself a new and better start somewhere else, okay? And don't feel guilty. I feel like you're, you may be a little bit emotional, and I get it, Pisces, I've been there myself, where you beat yourself up. I shouldn't have trusted this person. I shouldn't have given them another chance. I shouldn't have just believed them. I No, Pisces, okay? No. Number one, if that's what you felt was right in the moment, that's what you felt was right in the moment. Own it, okay? Everything is a lesson. If we learn from it, it's a lesson. It's not a mistake. It's not something to have regret over. And you have learned, Pisces. And if you look back at who you are because of this experience, you'll find that, you know what, actually, I'm, I'm okay with how things happened, okay? putting the pain aside, putting the disappointment, the betrayal, the everything, you know, aside for a moment. It's like, it brought me to this place where I'm happy with who I am. 
I am now wiser, I am now stronger, I have boundaries I didn't have before, I have standards I didn't have before, I have expectations I didn't have before. I've learned about myself, I've learned where my limits are. You know, I've learned where the red flags are. I've learned how to give selectively. I've learned that I have a choice. There's a lot of lessons that have been learned here, Pisces. So don't you dare beat yourself up in any way, okay? It's important. Remember, the world with the King of Wands, hold your head high. This person has done, they can't touch you. They have, they, you know what I mean? The Knight of Cups, you definitely have an offer you want to make or an offer you want to accept. Okay? Any other advice for Pisces? And that's just saying go ahead. Because we're asking for, for advice. Okay. The Knight of Swords, Six of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. You've got another water sign on the mind, Pisces. And you're just, you are rushing they may have been, you already know them, you have some sort of history with them, but they, I feel like they're a friend to you right now, or someone in your circle, uh, someone in your community. You have some memories together, but not not very deep memories, you know what I mean? But there is a, be a beautiful and mutual bond there with the Six of Cups and the Queen of Cups. And I feel like this is for the longest time you've been pushing this away. And if it's a job, if it's a friendship, you know, again, take the messages as they make sense to you with your situation. But this is something where there's a bond, there's a mutual energy, there's mutual respect, mutual interest, um, mutual values, okay? And I feel like this is what you've been kind of pushing away and, and keeping at a distance because you have the Two of Cups behind you with the Five of Cups, so you turned your back to this, right? You turned your back to this because you were in this situation. I feel like that's why this hits even harder because it makes you realize that you almost turned your back on the best thing that could ever happen to you. But don't worry. Everything's as it should be. You're right on track. Okay? And I feel like you are rushing to this other water sign. If they're not a water sign, it doesn't really matter signs, okay? You are rushing towards this other person or this other opportunity that was presented to you, that came into your life recently, okay? Come on, camera. Um, and accepting their offer or making them an offer, you're speeding towards them, though, with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. There could be some sort of an impulsive declaration with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords on your part or theirs or both, you know? Um, because like I say, it's mutual. And things will come into balance for you. A beautiful balance. There's a lot of healing. There's a lot of nurturing. Someone's on your level. Okay? As you give to it, it gives to you. It, them, whatever. And you have the Ace of Cups there, right? Behind her. So Pisces, that is what I have for you. You're right on track. You're where you're supposed to be, when you're supposed to be. You had to reach this point in your own evolution, in your own development, mental, emotional, spiritual, okay? You had to get here. So nothing was wasted. You didn't do too much. You didn't do, you know, okay? There were no mistakes made because you learned from every single thing and it brought you here, okay? So everything that you're thinking, like this is done, no doubt, no what ifs, nothing left, I'm gonna go towards that other thing because that's, I couldn't, I haven't been able to stop thinking about that other thing, which is why maybe you were a little bit emotional and feeling a little bit guilty. But then when this comes out, you're like, oh, I don't have to feel guilty about anything. That was the universe's way of giving me a helping hand and a way out and clarity. And here you are, Pisces, okay? So, that is what I have for you today. Very interesting reading. Definitely looking forward to your thoughts on this one. Um, but I'm going to leave it there. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.